Meg here for another Art Feeds Makes. This week, together, we are going to make our face mask holders. The reason we're doing that is because right now, a lot of us are required to wear face masks when we're out in public or in school, and that helps keep us safe and keeps others safe. Now, just like your face mask might come in many different materials or many different designs and patterns, we can also create face mask holders holders. They're practical because they help us know where our face mask is at all times and it can help us express ourselves. Now just like when you wear some kind of shirt or accessory, that can express who you are. If you like to wear bright colors or I wear a lot of camo sometimes, I like patterns, that helps other people see just with their eyes a little bit more about me. So we're going to use our face mask holders to do the same thing and be an expression of ourselves. But before we get started, let's go over the Art Feeds rules. The first rule is to be kind and be creative. Right now, one of the kindest things you can do to protect others and to protect yourself is to wear a mask, which is why we're doing the project today. And I know you're going to use your big creativity to make a really special face mask holder. Rule number two, never say I can't. We might be trying some things that you haven't done before today and don't say I can't, instead say I will try or I'm learning or will you help me? And rule number three, there are no wrong answers. Since this is an accessory that is an expression of ourselves, it's gonna be different, just like we are all special and unique and different. Now, before we get started, let's take a look at some of the supplies that we're gonna need. <music> Now, just like always with art feeds and our supplies, I'm using what I have in my supply closet, but if you don't have what's here, you can be inventive. I've got yarn and ribbon, but you might have string or some jute or some kind of something that you can use for your face mask holder. I also have these wooden beads which we're going to paint together and if you don't have those don't fret there's some other ways that you can make your face mask more creative with different materials any kind of bead will work or anything that you can put on your mask okay let's get started holders, a fun accessory that can help us express ourselves beyond just our clothes or what we wear, what accessories that we wear. Now we have an extra special one and it will help us know where our mask is at all times. So you can see here, I've got my three different masks that I put the mask holder on. We've got our beads here and I just put it over my neck like a necklace and then it hangs here 
for whenever I'm alone or working on something. And then whenever I need it, I don't have to go, oh, where's my mask? Instead, I can just look down and go like this. And then it has these fun beads. It kind of looks like I'm wearing earrings, right? But I can pull the beads down if I want to. Let's try it out. Or keep them there. It's pretty fun, isn't it? So we've got a lot of different options here. And I just use my ribbon or string straight. But I know that you guys are creative and inventive and maybe you want to braid your face mask holder. I would love to see the stuff that you guys come up with. So if you want to take a picture or a video and you can tag hashtag art feeds makes and we can take a look. Thank you so much, you guys. Stay safe, wear your mask, and we'll see you next time.